Hello and welcome to Appear Your Digital Microscopy Platform. My name is Max and in this video I'm going to explain how you can easily create your own workflow. So let's maybe start with some terminology before. So a workflow is an image processing task which combines several subtasks which we call modules. And to illustrate the functionality I will introduce a simple workflow to you today. This workflow consists of only one module, which detects nuclei and images. So maybe we get started now. Um, I assume that you're already logged into a peer. And the first step now is to click on my workspace, which is here, and then go to my workflows. Here you can click on create new workflow, which allows you to create a new workflow and to get to the workflow editor, which is here. So you already see that we have an input box and we need to define our input and upload our image, which we want to process with our modules later. So for building our workflow, we need to first add a module after the input. So in this case, we take the nuclear segmentation processing module. And now we need to connect our input with the module so that our image can be processed. And you can go further and add more modules by adding modules always with these pluses. And now we already have the workflow we want for this purpose, just for showing, so it's a really small workflow today. So let's put in a name, let's call it demo, save the workflow. So, and now before running, we need, of course, to um, define our input. So we have three options. We can upload a file, select a file from the web, or use a file we used before in a peer. So I take an image which I used before, I just click on this here, and then I will run it now. And this blue bar here indicates you that the workflow is preparing or running. And these parsing dots show you, okay, it's running and they show you where it is running. So now it's uploading and if it's pulsing here, it will process the image. You can also click on these buttons and edit parameters of your results depending on the module you have. In this case, it's not possible, but um, depending on your module, it may be possible to edit parameters. Also, you can minimize this workflow by just clicking on this arrow here. After this run, this bar here will be green if it's run successfully and if it didn't run successfully, um, it will be red. So let's wait. Okay, now it's done and the workflow finished successfully. Now we need to put in a name again and save our results. And then we soon get to the My Results area here. We can see our input image. So that's what I put in at the beginning. And um, this shows the different nuclei um, in a microscopy image. So you can see, for example, a nuclei here, a nuclei here, 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 and here. So that's just like a small spot here, but we have many, many more. But just remember these here. And if we go to the next image, we see that they are segmented. So um, our module detected these nuclei, for example, and all the other white spots here. And if you're happy with your results or you want to share them, you have the option. So you can just click on the share button, um, use this link, or you can share it by mail, by Twitter, or by LinkedIn. Also, um, in case you have some problems, um, you can, so if you have problems or if you want to discuss your results, you can use the forum, which is really helpful to get in contact with the community. And if you have any more questions, you can also use our wiki, which explains you how a peer works. And yeah, in case something didn't work as you wanted to, it to work, you can also use our support or just view the log and see um, where the problem occurred. And we are really happy to help you. So thank you for listening and see you next time.